Hey, what is up, everyone, and welcome back to another video. It's me, your guy, Adam. As you guys have might already seen in this in the video's title, today we are going to discuss about the Lahore trial event and how you can maximize your rewards in this event. So, as you uh, first thing I need to say to you guys is this video is mostly applicable for the early game players. Early game meaning KBK1, KBK2 and even might be KBK3, okay? So this video is only applicable for early game players. So with that said, uh, let's go to the event page. As you guys have seen, today is Lohar Trial. This is the second time that event, the, this event has come to Kingdom 3449, which is my, my kingdom. I mean the kingdom which I am in so the first time was when the kingdom opened so with that said uh, let's uh, let me tell you something about this event in Lohar Shral if you kill a barbarian if you kill a barbarian you will get something called Lohar's necklace and through those Lohar's necklace you will get uh, rewards like arrows of resistance which you will be needing a lot uh, if you want to reach D5 sooner these are very very helpful I and mean, these are the things that you uh, requ you require to uh, upgrade the watchtower so and uh, you will the other rewards you get is gems lots of gems and you get resource tokens uh, which are food and wood you I think you don't get stone through this uh, event and the next thing you get is speed ups so these are the rewards that you can get from the uh, Lohar necklace and you get Lohar same amount one Lohar necklace for killing one barbarian the level one also gives one barbarian necklace the level 50 also gives one barbarian necklace and the rewards from that uh, barbarian necklace is same no no matter the uh, no matter the level of the barbarian so you get the same reward from whatever the barbarian you killed that is one Lohar necklace and the rewards are same so with that uh, understanding let's move on to this video the first thing you have to do to maximize your reward in uh, is you have to find place like this okay you have to find place where the terrain has made it possible to only spawn in a narrow place like this and there's not much space around you and if you can't find any spot like this uh, what you can go to you can go look your near sanctums or altars uh, near you right now I will show you this sanctum so this altar has a place like this you have to find place like the half semicircle okay the half circle you have to find place like this and you have to teleport just teleport in this uh, brown dot and you can uh, carry on from that okay the next tip you have to do is Thing, the next thing you have to do is you have to spawn barbarians in the left side you can see search button you have to spawn barbarians from level 12 and below from level we don't spawn level uh, above level 12 is because uh, they spawn far away so they won't be near you okay so you have to spawn uh, barbarians from level 12 and below right now I have already spawned level 12 level 10 level uh, 11 level 8 level 9 7 okay I have already spawned the barbarians and the next thing is the next tip is uh, you have to if you're uh, when you are uh, spawning the barbarians if you the barbarians are going far away like for example if they are spawning where my Charles Martel is then you have to just put a troop right there the barbarians I spawned are sp were spawning in this place so I put a troop right here and put a troop right here so that I can block them when uh, be, uh, to stop them from spawning on the other sides where I don't want them to spawn so now what they will do is they will sp uh, spawn in only this this small narrow uh, area uh, in like I said in the sanctum what you can do is what did I show you what you can do is uh, suppose this is your city hall you can put a troop right here right here another troop right here one troop right here and block all the uh, possible uh, places that a barbarian can spawn and all the barbarians will spawn in this middle part where this stone pit is okay so that's the thing you can do and the next 
thing you have to do now is you have to bring a march which has AOE. For example, my Athelfit is an AOE commander, meaning she will attack more than two commanders at the same time. Okay, so you have to put on some uh, minimum uh, T1 uh, troops. For example, I have put it um, some <coughs> sorry battering ram and warriors T1. So you have to bring the troops out and you have to attack the highest level barbarian you can see. So right now there's a two bell right there. It's taking some time. So now what you have to do is you have to put pull on some aggro. I'm just pulling some aggro. See? This is AOE if you didn't know. You, you have to pull on some aggro and you have to again go there. Now I need to pull the aggro of the second highest barbarian which is level 11. I lose the aggro of level 9. I hope I can get the aggro of level 11. And here I get the aggro of level 11 and the level 12 has died. So now what I can do is I can search level 12 again, spam it if it already came right here. So now I will go here towards the level 12 again. And I sit right there. The level 8 has already died. Now what I do is I spawn level 8. I pull the level 12 aggro. I need to spawn, call level 8. Yeah, I, the level 8 has spawned. And now there, it's a good way of changing. Okay. So now I will pull the aggro of level 12. Uh, right here, level 11 has died. I don't need to go far away, so level 11 has died. He has already spawned now. He didn't pull the aggro. I hope he pulls the level 9 and 8. Okay, he pulled the level 8 and 9. Now I drag the level 9 to, towards the level 11 so I can get their aggro. So you basically know, right? Uh, you get lots of uh, the low harsh necklace. There is one lower necklace for killing one barbarian. So you are getting lot tons of uh, necklace for just 40 AP that uh, you are spending. So I might not uh, be able to, yeah. So I just uh, didn't do it because it will make the video long. So as you can right see, I have just killed one, two, three, four, five barbarians. I could do many more. Uh, I mean, I have done 11, I have done uh, 15, 13, okay. So you could do, you could get, and just now I killed 11, uh, uh, 5 of them and I got 5. See, I got the 5 rewards right here, the bone necklace. So normally what people will do is they will bring uh, uh, Athelfit or any AOE commanders. Uh, if you are in KBK1, you don't have YSG, uh, so maxed. If you are FTP or uh, low spent, so... Normally what people will do is they will just see in the map, see in the map and if they see a bunch of uh, troops around that they can chain and they will go there and chain with Athelfit and the most they can chain is like 6, 5, maximum 5 or 6. So right now with this tip uh, for Loha Shral, uh, what you are getting is you are getting 6, 7, uh, six, seven bone necklace every time you are spending that 40 AP so just calculate the error of resistance you will get from those uh, bone necklaces they are going to compound as you do more and more so you are getting six seven every times every time that's I'm talking about the minimum minimum you will get five uh, six or seven and if you are doing the the thing I just showed you effectively you are getting uh, above 10 so for 30 AP you are getting above 10 bone necklace and through those you are getting lots of uh, gems, lots of arrows of resistance, lot of speed ups, lot of resource. I think that's a huge win. So it helps you to improve your gem economy and also your uh, arrows of resistance uh, number. So and that's for the tip guys and I hope you find this helpful and there's also another way where you could do the same thing without using any AP uh, but I don't want to teach you that feels like uh, cheating so I won't tease that way right now but through this way uh, I hope you are improving uh, your gem economy and you are getting a lot of uh, arrows of resistance a lot of speeders and everything so what right now what I'm planning to do planning to do is I will be spending my 5k uh, AP by using the pots and everything so i will use 5k ap in this event in this lower trial using this same technique and i will be getting a lot more of the gems my gems uh, will 
increase a lot but I will get a lot of errors of resistance so you guys also try to put uh, if you have time you can put the same foot by doing popping some AP and do the this trick okay pulling up black windows once you go down you must be crazy if you think that I'm gonna slow down I wanna hear it talking shit from the drama keep coming up and since you drink your mama I'm the last one to die. Nice. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you like this video. And I might not be able to uh, upload some videos for a week or uh, something. So I will be going out. So. Uh, that's it for the video if you like this tip uh, feel free to like and if you want more of this kind of content which will be very helpful for you and help you uh, improve your account and you know sock your alliance members how our FTP is competing with uh, uh, normal spenders then feel free to subscribe the channel I will be putting out more of this time this kind of content so yeah that's it for the video guys I hope you liked it with that saying I would like to sign off. Bye bye. Tata. -ta. See you. It's not a game. It's a